Hello, tabletop boxing fans. We are back with this career series featuring Tommy McBride. And I've, uh, I did his first title defense. I fought that one already. So in his 10th fight, that would be December of 1955, uh, I rolled all four opponents, uh, including his first national opponent, um, his reputation uh, was at the national level <clears throat> at that point, having entered the national level, which starts to introduce national level opponents. So I rolled up all four. Uh, I had tiers one, two, and three at the regional level, and then uh, tier, uh, yeah, tier four is the first or lowest rung, if you will, of the national level. <clears throat> so... Three of these opponents, uh, tiers one, two, and three, would now be considered one level below uh, my man, and that in, that would include a title defense, uh, which I decided to go uh, go ahead and do a title defense. And uh, the title defense, generally speaking, the the assumption would be that it would be against a tier three opponent, uh, tier three being the highest tier of the regional level. So if you're defending your regional title, it is most likely against somebody at that level. Um, you know, just a, like you know, in the career in the career campaign guide, none of this stuff is set in stone. It's all flexible and uh, and as it should be, uh, because real life boxing is kind of that way. It's 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 not nearly as structured structured as you might think. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, I chose my tier three uh, opponent. I, I named him Russ Bell with a record of 10, 2, and 0 with six knockouts out of Frankfurt, Kentucky. My training camp roll was a 0 6, which had me worried, uh, and it was a minus one to either control or defense. And I selected the minus one defense, hoping that McBride would. Uh, you know, not have to rely on that, depend on that too much to win this particular fight. And in fact, he didn't. It only went uh, under, t you know, less than two rounds as he flattened Russ Bell in the second round and got the KO stoppage at 157 of round two. Uh, that was after having, uh, the first round was close, uh, you know, nine to six in punch points. But early in the second round, uh, McBride put Bell down uh, about 20 seconds in and then followed up with a big combination, had him stunned, another good clean combination, then stunned him again with a straight right, and then with the straight right followed one more time, and that finished the job. So uh, McBride defended his Ohio River Valley uh, lightweight title in <clears throat> November, uh, December. He won it November, defended it in December. And so that gets one of the defenses out of the way. Typically, most belts would need to be defended at least twice a year uh, and probably three times uh, for, for most sanctioning bodies, especially at the lower levels. You know, world titles probably twice a year. So at any rate, that brings us to um, the, you know, the next step, which... Uh, I decided for his next fight, I, I rolled up all four opponents. Uh, his reputation now uh, going up to 30 with the knockout win. And so with a reputation of 30 and having already defended his regional title once, uh, I thought I would test the waters of a national opponent. So in his 11th fight, uh, then I put him up against or I will put him up against a fellow by the name of Joe Thomas with a record of 11, 0, and 1. He only has three knockouts, not a power puncher, but a pretty good fighter. This guy's out of Detroit, and uh, he is the Michigan State Athletic Commission champion. And uh, so this is a fun sort of regional narrative uh, that I wanted to create. And so Joe Thomas is a national level fighter at Tier 4. And that will be my next opponent. 
Let's see. So I'm gonna, it's going to be an eight-round fight. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I will conduct that fight in a separate video so you get to see the, the whole thing of his first national level fight. All right. Uh, that brings you up to date for the most part. Let me see. I'm going to backtrack. So after, after the December fight, I, I rolled a 19 for normal development, not even close to doing anything there. On the stage advancement, uh, I rolled a 5 and just missed again. I've rolled a bunch of 5s for McBride so far. There was, there's been 3 or 4 now uh, opportunities that missed just by a single digit. Uh, on, on, the, um, on the development and stage advancement checks. Okay, so next up is going to be Ohio River Valley champ versus Michigan State Athletic champ in a uh, lightweight regional kind of grudge, national level grudge match. Uh, it'll be a non-title fight because they're both from separate regions, so neither one of them is defending their particular title against someone else against uh, uh, from the same region. Okay? All right, more to come.